If we consider this f equals a and 1, then the output f will be dependent upon the value that's given to the variable a, because the other input is fixed as a 1. Now, this will mean that the output will be a. In other words, a and 1 will minimize to a. Now, let's have a look at the symbol of a two-input AND gate to help us explain this. A and 1 means that one of the inputs to the AND gate, in fact, is the variable A, and this can take up the value of a 0 or a 1, but the other input, which would normally be B, we can see is going to be fixed at a 1. Now, the fact that we have a 1 at the input of an AND gate means that what we'll have at the output will be dependent upon what A is. So, for example, if A was a 0, we would have 0 and 1, and the output will be a 0, if A was a 1, then we'd have 1 and 1, and the output would be a 1. Consequently, the output is whatever A is. But we need to look at the truth table for an AND gate to convince ourselves of that. The two conditions we're concerned with is this one and this one. Because we can see in both cases, this is where we have 1 at input B, i.e. here and here. Now, for this combination, we can see the output is a 0 when A is a 0. And for this combination, we can see that the output is a 1 when A is a 1. Consequently, we can say the output is the same as A. Therefore, A and 1 minimizes to A. Let's have a look at these two conditions with respect to these two AND gates here. We have A as the input, as we can see here and here, and the other inputs are fixed at 1. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to show what we have at the output when A is a 0. So let's set A to a 0. And of course, a 0 and a 1 has to be a 0. Because remember, you have to have two 1s present at the input to a 2 input AND gate to have a 1 at the output. And on this one here, we can have A being 1. And of course, 1 and 1 is 1. So we have a 1 at the output. Here, when it was 0, we saw A was a 0, and here when it was a 1, we saw A was a 1. So going back to our Boolean expression that we started off with here, which was this, F equals A and 1, we can see that it minimizes to A, which seems to make sense because, look, one of the inputs to the AND gate was a 1, and it was fixed at 1. So the output will depend on what the other input is, i.e. A. And A can be a 0, in which case 0 and 1 is a 0, it's the same as A. Or A can be a 1, in which case it's 1 and 1, and that gives 1. So the output is what the input was with respect to A. So A and 1 minimizes to A.